what's up everyone so mean here with my boy armani and welcome to my very first youtube video yeah so just to kick things kick things off i just want to let everyone know that we are like we're not marines yet we haven't earned the title we're uh marine corps police and delayed entry program and basically all that means is that um we passed through our medical we've taken our asvab test and um we've sworn and signed our initial contract and all we're doing is just waiting to ship to boot camp so just want to make that clear and just let everyone know that we haven't earned the title yet and that we're just waiting to go to boot camp to be able to get that opportunity um more, most frequently like i'll post mostly on snapchat like fitness related content and stuff like that so um a lot of people on there um i asked everyone i said hey should i go ahead and start a youtube channel and a lot of people did show a lot of support so um they said i should stick to fitness um military related content after i get out of boot camp so yeah that's what i'm gonna try to bring to y'all and uh i just think it'd be a really cool opportunity to be able to show you um how i'm preparing for boot camp just mentally and physically um beforehand and then see the aftermath whenever i get out of boot camp and just be able to share with you all what i did correctly what i made mistakes on and um if any of you are wanting to join the military as well i just uh i want to use it as something to be able to help you all prepare and be able to be in a better situation than me when I got out of boot camp. So yeah, I'll have to go ahead and start off the Q and A. A lot of these questions are from Snapchat, just uh, anonymous questions from a lot of my friends and uh, family and stuff like that. So yeah, they asked a lot of fitness related questions, um, military, just things I do to prepare, and we're just gonna get it kicked off. A lot of these are directed mostly towards me, but uh, most of them do apply to him as well because we're just we're going through the same situation and the delayed entry program and everything like that. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and kick it off and we'll start out with the first question. Someone asked, how do you get better at pull-ups? So- um, I, I know nothing about that, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically with pull-ups, if you're at zero, um, what you wanna do is just buy resistance bands. It's gonna make it a lot easier than easier for you, but you're still gonna get the range of motion, everything like that, um, and still get stronger uh, to be able to get your first reps. Um, also, you can do uh, what's called jump negative pull-ups. You're not gonna use any of your strength to get to the top of the bar. You're just gonna jump up to the top and slowly lower yourself down. That way you're still gonna tra contract your muscles and you're still gonna build the strength to get one or two. And uh, yeah, a lot of girls need that and just a lot of guys that are in pretty bad shape, just they need that to get started and um, it helps a lot. And, but also a lot of people do hit walls at like 10 12 15 reps yeah, that's and yeah that's <laughs> so like if you hit that wall at 12 15 reps um, what you're gonna have to do is um what really helped me was adding weight like 20 30 pounds and just build up your strength um then once you take that weight off it's gonna seem way easier doing them and you're gonna be able to knock out some more reps but also you want to do different variations um archer pull-ups close grip wide grip um explosive pull-ups stuff like that um, if you don't know what those are, just look them up on YouTube and being able to switch it up, you're really going to get a lot better at it and hopefully get like that 20, that 20 pull up mark. Okay. So we got uh, question number question, two, but someone just said the Navy is better and I'm going to let him take this one. <laughs> Boy, you thought, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, do you have any reasons for that? I mean, I mean we're not even in the military yet. So we uh, don't really know. Yeah. I can't really, really say know. anything like even, that, but we you can't know, even answer it. From what I, from what I, uh, per perceive, <laughs> uh, you end up being more, you know, I don't know. You get what? <laughs> more professional when you join the Marine Corps. I'm just saying that, but I'm not trying to bash the Navy. I yeah. mean, I all respect. They're all, we're all brothers and we're all military. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, I'll learn more once I graduate from boot camp. Well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll have more of an opinion on that question. <laughs> Yeah, we can't really answer it right now because, I mean, everyone in the Navy has already done way more than we have. Exactly. Because <laughs> we haven't yeah, even yeah. gone through We can't really say anything so right we now. Can't. But, um, I mean, it is obvious that the Marine Corps boot camp is it's, uh, much more difficult yeah. than a lot of the other basic training. So, I mean, there's that's, a lot that's more kind of respect factual, that comes but, with that. And but, uh, but, yeah, eventually we'll be able to answer that maybe. So let's go ahead and move on to uh, question three. Have you thought about what you want to do after the military or just want to see what comes your way? So um, with me, I'm planning on uh, becoming a firefighter afterwards, um, and I'm trying to get aviation crash fire rescue in the Marine Corps, but it's a really difficult job to get. Um, you just have to get lucky and get selected for it. So 
um that's what i'm gonna try to get but i'll just if i don't get that job i'm still gonna be doing the schooling for it and try to get all the certifications and stuff like that and uh see if i can get it afterwards but i mean i don't know exactly how much i'm gonna like the military um i mean you can't really know until you fully experience it so i'll see after my four-year contract i mean you never know I'll, i might want to stay in i might want to stay for 20 years you never know so um that's just my plan so far yeah so uh my plan for after uh the military um uh it's pretty similar to uh simians over here um i mean i i do want to become a firefighter in the end game um but like he said um i may like the military because the military is a hit or miss yeah. like you may like it you may not it's for some people and it's for it, it's not for some people. <laughs> yeah i mean so uh once i get in experience it um i'll i'll know whether i want to do that or not and uh but I mean, if I'm in there for a solid maybe eight years, I mean, I still, after that, I'm still gonna be pursuing uh, to be a firefighter after that, so. For uh, question number four, when do you go to boot camp? So me, I already have a mindset. It's uh, October 28th, I leave here pretty soon. And with him? Uh, so mine's a little bit more complicated. Um, right now, uh, when I went to MEPS and swore in, my date was set at February 2nd. And so, um, I'm supposed to leave February 2nd, but my uh, my recruiter came up to me and gave me this opportunity for me to leave uh, in September. And so I don't know the exact date in September, but um, when I uh, heard about that, I jumped right on that because I, I kind of do want to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to start my military career. So yeah, so hopefully September, but if not, February 2nd. Uh, Question so number five. How did your parents react when you told them you wanted to be a Marine? Um, with me, I mean, I have nine siblings and my parents have pretty much experienced everything. So nothing comes to a surprise to them. So they're like, oh, cool. That sounds good. Like it's nothing <laughs> exciting for them. I already have a brother that's a sergeant in the Marines. So yeah, it's nothing new to them. They were just a little surprised at first because I hadn't talked about it a lot. But um, yeah, they weren't really that shocked with me. Uh, I mean, my mom was... Uh... She wasn't, she wanted me to join the military, but she wanted me to go to the Air Force. So whenever uh, whenever I talked to uh, my recruiter, uh, the Marine recruiter, um, she was kind of surprised that I was kind of interested in it. Um, but once she uh, heard uh, exactly what the mission of uh, the Marine Corps is, she was all for it. I mean, she was very supportive after that, so yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and go on to the next question. Um, would you date a TikTok famous <laughs> or an Insta famous girl? <laughs> I'll let you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like way different than all the other questions. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it depends. It like, would have, I <laughs> mean, if she does TikTok, I mean, that's a hit because that's weird. But yeah. still, I mean, if she got that right personality and she looking right. Hey, I mean, I think a lot of girls do TikTok now. <laughs> I know, true. Like pretty much everyone. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it, but you know, yeah. I would. Yeah, I would. If my question, my answer is, I date a TikTok girl, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it definitely depends. It does. Depend. I mean, if it's one of those like weird girls like sticking out their tongue constantly. Yeah, no cringy girls. <laughs> no, 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 that's just that's that's too weird. Too <laughs> far. I actually do know a girl that has like seventy thousand, and. uh not bad, but, <laughs> you know. Like maybe, maybe. Maybe, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, question number eight. Um, someone asked, do you want to make YouTube a career? So, um, I mean, I don't really want to make it the main focus of my career at all. Just, like, something on the side to be able to help people or do, like, fitness and military-related content. But, I mean, the main focus, probably not. Um, it just depends. Um yeah, it, it highly depends like how well I do with it. Um, if it ends up just being like a thousand subscribers or ends up being 50,000 subscribers, it just, it all depends. Um, but yeah, hopefully it can be a little side gig for me. Yeah. I mean, for me, I don't, I don't really want it to be my career. I mean, no matter what, after the military, I'm definitely going to yeah. pursue firefighting. Um, no matter how good my YouTube gets, but uh, it'd, it'd be a good little side thing. I want to keep on the side, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now on to question nine. Someone asked, do you think boot camp will help you mentally? 
yeah, boot camp, even though like a lot of people, even with me and him, preparing physically for it, mental, the mental aspect is like the most difficult part. Like people tell me all the time that people go in there in the best shape and they just don't have the mental capacity for it. They just yeah, fold. Yeah. And then there's chubby kids that go in there <laughs> that are like can barely pass the test, but they just they're mentally tough and they can get through it. Yeah. And that's what they're looking for. They're trying to beat you down mentally and uh, get you strong in that aspect. Yeah, they're, they're, you have to want to be a Marine to pass boot camp. I mean, you can't just go in there and expect him just to be a walk in a park. I mean, because yeah. it's, it's not going to. I mean, once you get there, it's a cultural shock. It's yeah. a shock. Shock. Like, yeah. it's designed to where most people can do it. Yeah. Um, but it, you just have to have that. Yeah, it's, meant, it's meant to be. Okay, so question 10. Someone asked, do you think the Marine PFT is more difficult than the Army PFT? And I'll let him do this first. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's all you I have to say. The is? I mean, that's the, it's push-ups, and yeah. it's like one and a half miles. All right, right. I think it's two miles. Yeah, it's two miles. Is it two miles? Yeah, it's two. Okay. The Air Force one's mile and a half. Yeah, okay, okay. But, Army's yeah. Two. Yeah, I mean, push-ups, I, I can, I mean, I can do push-ups. I, mean, <laughs> I can do push-ups. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather do push-ups than pull-ups. I mean, because pull-ups aren't my strong suit. So yeah. that's why I would say that that's what the difference is to me. Like, with the Army and the Marines ones, is push-ups to pull-ups. Pull-ups are freaking hard. I hate those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I've, I've seen some people that, like, aren't even, don't work out at all and don't really, aren't even that good shape that can do, like, 40 push-ups and stuff like that. Yeah. 41, which is the lowest amount you can get on the test, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously, the Marine one, it's three miles. Um, Army, it's two miles. Big difference. And uh, Marines, it's pull-ups. I think, yeah, 20 is the max for the Marines, and mm -hmm. 71 is the max for Army. Um, I can easily do 71 yeah, push-ups. Can he can't, but... Boy! <laughs> he can't. Boy, I can get 71 right now. I'll do 71. I'll do 71. In two minutes? You. Yeah, in two minutes. Two minutes, two okay. minutes is a long time, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> that will be another video. <laughs> that will be another challenge. Bets. Yeah, we'll do the Army PFT. That's what we can do. Yeah, we can. Yeah. But, and then I think the crunches, crunches are easier. Yeah, um, true, I mean, true. they're way easier than yeah. sit-ups, yeah. but I, you have to get 115 for the Marines. And, that is and the Army, you have to do 78, I think. Sit-ups. Like 75, 78 sit-ups. And I think with that many more crunches... It kind of makes slide it edge. equal. Kind yeah, of. equal slide edge like, or something not like that. too much bigger. I'd say equal with that part. Yeah. So uh, the 12th question is, how many people do you have on Snapchat? All right. <laughs> I'll let him go. This question is jacked up, dog. Yeah. <laughs> because I look like a little man right now. But yeah. I think I got around like 300 people on Snapchat. 300? That's it? Yeah. Well, I mean, like... Like, what do you mean? It like, varies, though, because... Were you talking about like views? How many people views? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about views. Okay, views three hundred. I get three hundred okay. views. Yeah, so yeah, that's how many people total? Because I mean, like Snapchat. I like, don't know. Does it total? There's some people that never watch your stories because they like a, they yeah, don't watch stories that exactly. much. Like, I don't a lot watch, of people that have Snapchat but don't go on. Because I only watch stories of people I talk to a lot. So, yeah, exactly. Same with me. So like, you you can have a lot of people, but not really get that many views. Exactly. I don't know. Do you? Is there a way to? Find that no, out. you can't really find out, but I mean, I get like usually like two thousand views on each story. See this question? What? Stop, stop, bro. Stop. I, look, I look like a little boy. <laughs> about two thousand, sometimes twenty five hundred, <laughs> but total probably I'd say like four thousand people, just because there's a lot of people that don't watch it when they, I mean, they'll only talk to their like main friends, and sometimes they yeah. don't watch. What part of boot camp are you both excited about? So. I'll let you go first on this one. Pugil sticks, boy. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's dude. the only thing you're going to be able to do. Yes. <laughs> dude, trying to beat people up, beat people up with a stick? It's freaking dope, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And actually, the gas chamber, too. I, I, I just want to see people throw up. Yeah, that, that's my thing. The gas chamber <laughs> is... I, Seeing other people like panic through it is gonna be like more fun. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take my focus off of me like exactly. feeling like I'm dying is watching the other. Yeah, people. exactly. So, yeah, the gas chamber, um, crucible. I'm not looking for um, crucible. It's just gonna be weird, starving and yeah. hiking forever and doing a bunch of crap. Um, let's see what else? I'm also looking forward to the drill. 
Yeah, drill. Because like, you look saucy dope. whenever you drill. Yeah, drill. Like, that's freaking dope. And the first day, like, it's just those first three days, they say you don't, like, get any sleep. So it's just going to be, like, all panic mode, like, True. screaming and freaking yelling in your ears and just fast paced. Like, you're going to be. Yeah. Like, you're, you're going to be going to bed at night being like, why the hell did I do this? <laughs> so, like, that's, that's just going to be interesting how we. Why are you so perfect? And. <laughs> This is obviously intended for me, but, but I'm going to let him answer first. This is so stupid, dog. <laughs> That's like the most thirsty question I've ever heard, dog. Like, but, uh, well, uh, I can answer this one, boys. Boy, get out of here. So, <laughs> this is so perfect. Get out of here. Boy, Boy this dude. Dude. I think we're gay. We're exactly. not gay. I'm I straight. swear. Yeah. I'm, I'm perfectly straight. I'm not saying straight. anything bad. I'm just saying I'm, I'm straight. Just to let you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, him, he, he, we don't know. I mean, we don't know. I mean, if you cute, you cute. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, him, James Charles. Hey. Yeah, that that's his. Hey. That's his idol. Hey. Like he does his makeup every morning. Hey, JC, it was good. Like our recruiter, <laughs> our recruiter is gonna watch this and realize that. Yeah, he does his makeup, <laughs> eyeliner, everything. He wakes up in the morning. He just took it off for this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't want to look too pretty to like. I don't want to outshine him. Yeah, he, he can't outshine me. So. He didn't want to flex on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, like, yeah, show us, like, what you do for your makeup tutorial. All right. So, oh, yeah, who we'll put some on his channel? Like, first, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, I'll do makeup tutorials on my channel. Yeah. So, Come watch. Yeah, like, what do you do first? You put, like, your blush? Yeah, I put my blush and yeah. eyeliner and... What's it called? Like, the eyeshadow? Yeah. Eyeshadow? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh... Whatever that marker thing is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> marker thing? Yeah, where you do your little your yeah, angel yeah. wings oh, on your yeah. eye. I know what that is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously he knows everything. I know, I know what I'm this. doing. I know what I'm doing. So I mean, all the girls on here. Yeah. Watch out. Exactly. Makeup tutorial. <laughs> So guys, yeah, that concludes the video. I hope y'all liked it. Unfortunately, I had to cut out a lot of really good questions and answers um just to make it under 20 minutes. But yeah, go ahead and uh subscribe to Armani's channel. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, my friend Grayson, who helped me out with the video, just uh, subscribe to him as well. Link's in the description. Yeah, just like, comment, um, subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. And I'm going to probably come out with some challenges, um, hopefully before boot camp. If I hit a 1,000 subscribers, I definitely will. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.